Daily sales report or DSR is a report in which we maintain sales, tickets and APC on daily basis. APC or APT, average per check or average per ticket means how much a customer spent behind a bill. Suppose your total sales is 2000 rupees and there were total 10 customers. It means 200 was your APC. We divided 2000 by 10. In today's video, we will also see how to restrict the days of February after 28th and after 30th in April. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a daily sales report which I have created in advance. There are a few things like month, year. Here are dates from first till last date. Months and years will be managed by drop downs. When I'll change month over here, all the things will be changed like all the days will be changed. Here also from 1st till 31st is changed. When I'll be changing to February, it will be like 1st Feb till 28th of Feb. Dining sales, dining tickets, APC or APT, average per check or average per ticket, takeaway sales, takeaway tickets, delivery sales, delivery tickets along with APC and APT. Here are total target sales, total sales achieved from all the three channels, dining, takeaway and delivery. APC target versus achieved means what was the gap and percentage is over here. Below is sum total of sales tickets and average of your APC for the whole month. So we will be creating a new sheet now. This is a blank sheet which I have already created in advance. Here we will be creating drop down for the months. For that we will have to go in data then data validation. From here we will have to select list and in source we will have to type the name of the months from Jan to December. Name of all the months is typed over here. Now we will have to do OK and our drop down is created. We can select months from here. Here we will be creating drop down of year. Again we will have to go in data then data validation. From here we will have to select list and we will have to type years over here. So I will be typing from 2022 till 2030. OK and our drop down is created over here. Here we will be inserting first date and over here it will be last date of the month. To insert first date of the month we will have to put a formula and our formula is plus or equal to date value bracket open double inverted comma 1 double inverted comma close and we will select month and we will select year. We will close the bracket and enter. Our first date is created. When we will change the month from here, our first date is also getting changed. For last date, the formula will be plus or equal to EOMONTH means EO month end of the month bracket open. We will select the first date comma zero bracket close and do enter. Our last date is created over here. When we will change the month, it will also change. Now we have to insert dates over here and dates will be fully automated. So our formula will be plus or equal to we will be selecting the first date and we will do enter. Now we are not going to drag this. We are going to insert formula for rest of the days. So our formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open we will select the first date is smaller than our last date comma we will select the first date once again plus one comma double inverted comma we will put twice and we will close the bracket in f3 means in last date we will put dollar to put dollar our command will be control f4 and dollar is inserted over here we will do enter now we will drag this till end. One thing you might notice that after 28th, it's blank. But we don't want blank over here. We want to insert EOM means end of the month. So we will be going to our formula once again. And over here, we will put EOM means end of the month. And we will do enter. After that, we will drag this till end. And we can see that after 28th, it's showing EOM. When we will change the month, January EOM vanishes and we can see the dates over here. When we will be going to April after 30th it's showing EOM. Now we will be inserting formula for the day and our formula will be plus text bracket open. We will select this comma 
डबल इन्वर्टेड कॉमा डी डी टी डबल इन्वर्टेड कॉमा क्लोज ब्रैकेट क्लोज एंड एंटर वी विल ड्रैक दिस टिल एंड इन डे ऑल्सो आफ्टर थर्टी एथ इट शोइंग ई ओ एम वी विल बी चेंजिंग दिस टू फेब्रुवरी एंड आफ्टर ट्वेंटी एथ इट शोइंग ई ओ एम नाउ वी विल बी डूइंग सम कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग वी विल सेलेक्ट ऑल दिस एंड वी विल बी गोइंग टू होम देन कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग हाईलाइट सेल रूल इक्वल टू ओवर हियर वी विल पुट संडे and we will highlight sunday as red so here it's already red we will do okay again we will be going to conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to this time we are going to take saturday and we will highlight saturday as green okay our saturdays are highlighted in green and our sundays are highlighted in red we want to highlight eom also so we will be going to conditional formatting once again highlight cell rule equal to and this time we will type eom from drop down we will select custom format fill from here we will select red color we will be going to font and from here we will select yellow color we will do it as bold and we will do okay okay and our eom means end of the month is highlighted when we will be changing the month eom vanishes as well as our color vanishes now we will be highlighting the days which will be coming after 28th so to highlight the days we will have to click over here we will have to go in home then conditional formatting new rule selecting classic from drop down we will select use a formula to determine which cells to format we will click it over here and we will put our formula so our formula will be plus or equal to this means first day is equal to eom so we will be putting double inverted comma eom we will close double inverted comma and we will delete dollar from here so there will be only one dollar and that will be behind d we will be going to drop down custom format and from here we will go to fill and select red color we will do okay okay now we will be dragging this till end and till here so this thing is already highlighted the cells are already highlighted but now also we are able to put some data over here which we really don't want to restrict the cells we will click over here and we will be going to data then data validation we will select custom and in formula we will put a formula the formula will be plus or equal to we will select the first day is smaller than greater than double inverted comma eom double inverted comma close and we will put a dollar over here we will do okay and we will drag this now if i will try to put something i am not able to put anything i am getting an alert but i want to get it personalized so i'll be going to data validation once again and i'll be going to error alert and over here i'll put stop its end of the month i'll do okay i'll drag this once again now if i'll be putting some figure over here i am getting stop its end of the month okay so these things are done now we will be calculating our apc and apt but before that i'll be inserting some figures in dine in sales and dine in tickets so i'll be taking 2000 over here i'll be taking 10 now our formula will be plus or equal to sales divided by tickets enter so our apc is 200 over here we will drag this but one thing we notice that when we drag this we get div written over here which we really don't want to remove div what we will have to do we will have to insert a formula of if and our formula will be if bracket open this means sales will be equal to 0 comma double inverted comma we will put double inverted comma twice because we want it to be blank comma and we will close the bracket over here enter now we will drag this till end and here it's blank now if i'll click over here we can see our formula is inserted but we can't see any figure i'll be inserting something over here and we can see our apc is visible so what we will have to do we will have to delete this we will have to copy this and we will have to paste in takeaway apc and delivery apc so it's done we will insert some figures over here once again take away sales take away tickets delivery sales delivery tickets so all the things are inserted over here i'll take a target and i'll put my target as 20000 i'll drag this till end 
total sales. So the total sales will be plus or equal to dining sales plus takeaway sales plus delivery sales. Enter. We will drag this till end. Here also we will drag this till end. Total tickets plus or equal to dining tickets plus takeaway tickets plus delivery tickets. Enter. We will drag this till end. APC or APT it will be plus or equal to sales divided by tickets enter we will drag this till end over here also it's showing div so we will have to put the formula of if over here if bracket open sales is equal to zero comma double inverted comma zero double inverted comma close comma and we will put a bracket in the end enter now we will drag this so it's showing zero now we will be coming to the end target versus achieved so our target sales was this and actual sales was this so we will have to do plus or equal to total sales minus our target sales enter so there is a gap of 2000 rupees so it's in minus only reason it's showing in bracket for percentage the formula will be plus or equal to total sales divided by target sales it's 90 percent so we will drag both till end now we will be coming over here in total and we will put the formula of sum plus s u m bracket open and we will select from first day till last day of the month enter for tickets also we will do the same we will drag this control c and we will paste in takeaway sales and takeaway tickets again for delivery sales and delivery tickets we will paste it over here means we will paste the formula target sales we will put the formula of sum plus sum bracket open we will select this till end close total sales we will copy and paste the formula over here total tickets we will copy and paste the formula over here for target versus achieved also we will paste the formula over here apc apt we will be doing plus or equal to total sales divided by total tickets enter so our apc is showing 400 if you want to show the average for the whole month you can put the formula of average over here so in this way you can create tsr or daily sales report for your restaurant or for your business and track the sales and tickets on daily basis i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye